Unipacific Fan Chats here, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the Firekeepers Casino 400 Day at Michigan. So yeah, so let's get started. So as we know, Ryan Blaney when he came out of nowhere on like I believe the last 10 laps, and he won, and for the first time at Michigan. I mean, in the last uh, couple of laps, I thought Py uh, possibly Byron Larson and Hamill were going to battle it out for the win, but yeah, because of two restarts, Blaney managed to get ahead. I mean. Probably it was, it was thanks to Kyle Busch on the last restart because Kyle Busch gave him a big push at the end. And yeah, I mean, that was pretty I mean, good there to see my favorite driver help another one of my favorites. And yeah, I mean, Blaney is one of my favorite drivers. He could possibly be my fifth favorite driver in case of one of my top five favorite tires, which it could be either the Truex or Hamlin, and it's depending on how many more years they'll go for. And yeah, so I mean... I mean, I'm glad to see Blaney win. I mean, he could be my favorite Penske driver eventually if I ever hate Logano, which could happen. But yeah, I mean, we'll just see about that. And yeah, and right here we have the top five right here, which is William Byron, then Kyle Larson, Kurt Busch, and Denny Hamlin. And yeah, Kurt Busch was really good today. I mean, I feel like I feel like this is one of his better tracks. And yeah, Byron was really good today. I mean, he could have maybe had the win if it wasn't for the caution for rain. And yeah, Kyle Larson, he put on a great performance today, but unfortunately, just couldn't pull it off, pull it off at the end. And yeah, but I mean, recently uh, in the NASCAR FedEx Wave 6, his, um, his, like, a, one of his uh, cars for this year, his Nations Guard car, has been, uh, been announced in Wave 6. And yeah, I'm definitely getting that there, so that way I don't have to use this Terry Labonte die cast. And yeah, but I mean, I mean, like, I uh, um, and like just so you guys know, possibly uh, probably either tonight or tomorrow, I'll be doing my NASCAR FedEx Wave Seven predictions. So yeah, so I mean, stay tuned for that. I mean, yeah. So I mean, let's talk about the race today. I mean, the race today was pretty good overall. I mean, there were a few crashes here and there. So yeah. So I mean, the first one was for Joey Gates hitting the wall, which wasn't really surprised since he doesn't mm, do good. And yeah, but then the next one was a big one and. Uh, and not a big crash, but it was a bad accident for Austin Dillon. I'll explain here. So, at the end of stage two, when Kyle Busch crossed the line and took the stage, which I was happy for, uh, like, Kozlowski and Austin Dillon bowed out for the end of stage two. But after they crossed the line, in my opinion, Kozlowski turned Austin Dillon. And Austin, Austin Dillon took a big impact into the wall. I mean, literally, he went on two wheels. And yeah, at that time, I felt really bad for Austin Dillon. Especially how good he was running today. I mean, this was probably one of his better races I've ever seen from him, besides the Super Speedway. And yeah, but in my opinion, that was all, and that was Brad's fault there. I know uh, some people are gonna say it was both their faults, but in my opinion, it was Brad. So I mean, for those who like Brad, I'm completely fine with that. But in my opinion, I just hate him more now because of that there. And yeah, so I mean, but yeah, but I mean, that's just my opinion there. I mean, there was not another accident for a while. I mean, there was a caution for sprinkles on the track. And and then, like, afterwards, uh, like, on the restart, Reddick actually went in front of Logano, but then... Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, sorry about that. I just heard sirens for a second. Yeah, there's... Yeah, sorry if you hear sirens in the background. There's, there's just something going by. It looks like it was a fire truck. Sorry about that there, but... Yeah. Now, back to what I was saying about the accent, though, I think it looked like uh, Le and Trix bumped into the back of Logano on the restart, which it was a crazy restart, which there was like, like, um, four and five wide, which these restarts here in Michigan are really crazy here. And yeah, so I mean, so, so yeah, so I mean, afterwards, then they just caused a crash here with Brian Newman, Chris Arvell, Cor no, and not Corey LaJoy, Josh Berry, because this week Corey LaJoy was actually out of the race at Michigan due to pro and COVID protocols, and Josh Berry filled in today. So yeah, so I mean, even though I'm not a huge fan of Corey LaJoy, hopefully he can, he can get better soon. And yeah, I'm not sure if he's returning this week for Daytona, but we'll see about that. And yeah, so I mean, so yeah, so we'll just find out about that. I mean, Berry did pretty good today. I mean, he did really well in the Xfinity race yesterday, so I was glad for that there. And yeah, so I mean, so yeah, so I mean, hopefully though, he can do good next year because he's going to Junior Motorsports full time. And yeah, but I mean, after that crash with Joe Logano and others, that took Logano out of the race. And I'm just saying, he was my championship pick coming in this year. And due to how bad he's been running lately, I mean, last year he crashed out of Indy. 
and now today he and he's he was out. I mean, that may not be good. I mean, I'm not sure if I if I'm if I can still um, say Lagan's gonna win the championship this year. I mean, he's still my pick and pick right now. I mean, I mean I'll probably explain more in my playoff predictions when they come. But yeah, we'll just see about that. And yeah, so I mean. I don't know how Lugano's going to do. I mean, he's maybe saving something for Daytona or the playoffs, but we'll see. But, yeah. So, I mean, and then afterwards, there was uh, there was and just the restarts were good. And then while Blaney was leading with, like, I believe six to go, and Tyler Reddick actually, and Tyler Reddick actually spun. And surprisingly, there was no caution because he got going. So, yeah. So, I mean, and, yeah. I mean, at least, and also about the caution for sprinkles, I was at least happy for NASCAR throwing the caution for rain. Unlike New Hampshire, which I was, I'm still mad about that, because that cost the Kyle Busch and Mark Truex their cars, and yeah, I mean, so yeah, so I mean, at least he's at least happy that NASCAR th this time threw the caution for rain, but I mean, it was technically not rain; it was just sprinkles, and yeah, so I mean, I mean that's that there. I mean, yeah, but I mean, and the race, um, the race here today was honestly a pretty good one. I mean, the restarts were really good, and I really and I liked it. And yeah, so I mean, I mean, I'm like, uh, but I mean, there, uh, people were saying on Twitter, which I'm actually on Twitter, but I mean, people were saying about the dirty air, which I'm not sure what they're talking about. I mean, definitely I know about dirty air, especially after what happened at Kansas last fall. And yeah, so I mean, I mean, maybe dirty air had an effect on Byron and Larson and at the end of this race with Blaney. But yeah, I mean, uh, that's what I've heard there. And yeah. And, and also another thing about stage one, Kyle Larson won that, I believe. Wait, no, I think, actually, it was Chase Elliott, sorry. Chase Elliott won stage one. Yeah, and Kyle Busch won stage two, and Blaney won the race here. <clears throat> so, yeah, so, I mean, I mean, basically, that's three of my favorites there. Two of them are, are in my top five favorites, and, yeah, so, I mean, so, yeah, so, I'm, I mean, just, overall, this is a pretty good race overall, but, I mean, next, uh, this Saturday, though, is Daytona, which is actually the regular season finale, and yeah, I have a feeling that race is going to be a pretty good one. I mean, we, we'll probably have some wrecks here and there. And uh, who knows what, what will happen. I mean, I mean, although, I mean, there's actually, and, and like after this race, Harvick actually locked himself into the playoffs, which is unfortunate since he's, he's one of my least favorites. And yeah, but now that just leaves one spot left in the playoffs. Yeah, since Hamlin locked in last week. And yeah, so I mean, in my opinion, I'm not sure who's going to get it. I mean, I'm thinking maybe Reddick is going to get it since he's been more consistent lately. Especially after since Austin Hill crashed out today. But, I mean, Austin Hill's good at Daytona. So, I'm possibly going on one of those drivers there to win. Uh, uh, one of those drivers to make the playoffs. But, I mean, I still feel like we're going to... Uh, I still feel like uh, none of those two will win. And, yeah, I mean, probably the veterans will still show the way. And, yeah... But, I mean, Daytona is probably going to be a good one. I mean, I mean, it'll be this Saturday, so my race review will come out on Sunday. And, yeah, so, I mean, but, I mean, uh, although on Sunday I'm actually planning, to, I'm actually going to be going to a train show as of right now. And I'm also going to be visiting Didmar Road at uh, that time, hopefully. I mean, I might visit Didmar Road or it could be somewhere else. I mean, I don't know, but, I mean, we'll just see. It just depends if I have time. So, yeah, but, I mean, we'll just see. But I'll probably do some rail painting after the train show. And yeah, so stay tuned for that there if I end up going to the train show. And yeah, so stay tuned for all that there. And yeah, Daytona is going to be a pretty good race overall. But I mean, we'll just see how it goes up here. And after Daytona, I will do my playoff predictions. So yeah, and and I'll be doing a streamer event tomorrow. Same time as usual. I mean, this is the second to last one I'm doing and this, this month here. And then afterwards, I'm going to be taking a break from StreamYard due to my school being in the way. And and I just, uh, I'm just getting a little tired of doing these. And yeah, so I hope you guys understand that there. And yeah. So, I mean, I mean, after my one on August 30th, then I'll be taking a long break from, uh, from StreamYard and maybe until November. And yeah, so I mean, I hope you guys understand that. It's just because of my school being in the way. And yeah, but I mean, probably when I do StreamYard events in November to like the start of the 2022 NASCAR season, I'll probably, probably just do them on weekends. And then maybe on my Thanksgiving and Christmas breaks, I can just do, yeah, I could probably just do more, but we'll just see about that. But I mean, I'll just, we'll get to that another day, but yeah, and, and stay tuned for my NASCAR Sykes Wave 7 predictions, and yeah, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this race review, and yeah, so anyways, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys later.